It's exactly six years since the 2014 FIFA World Cup, and on this day six years ago, we were just moving into the second round of group game fixtures with games like Italy vs Costa Rica, Switzerland vs France, and Honduras vs Ecuador. Of course, the 2014 World Cup was a pretty miserable one for England, who failed to win a single game and finished bottom of their group, but nevertheless, it was a brilliant World Cup. From Van Persie's incredible diving header as the Netherlands sank Spain 5-1, to the explosion of James Rodriguez on the biggest of stages and that brilliant strike against Uruguay, and of course Germany's unfathomable 7-1 demolition of the home nation Brazil. What a World Cup, and what a summer, and I had the luxury of enjoying most of the knockout stages in the serene and elegant holiday destination of Malia. Yes, that is me wearing the 1992-93 Tiger Print Hall City kit on the Malia Strip, the night that Belgium beat the US in the round of 16. Clearly, my life peaked in 2014, but many players who went to the 2014 World Cup have gone on to achieve bigger and better things in the six years since. England's Raheem Sterling, for example, was just 19 at the time of the finals in Brazil, and he hadn't hit double figures for goals in the Premier League yet. Sterling is now among the most effective and prolific wide players on earth, and arguably his country's best player. Thanks to Archie Wilds who sent in this video idea on Twitter, so without further ado, here is every country's youngest player at the 2014 World Cup. Where are they now? Brazil Bernard Brazil's youngest player at the 2014 World Cup was also, I believe, the joint shortest player at the finals in South America. 5 foot 5 inch Bernard made Brazil's squad for the finals following a decent debut campaign in Europe with Shakhtar Donetsk, and he made his first start at a World Cup in his hometown of Belo Horizonte. Sadly, it wouldn't be a happy homecoming for Bernard, since that game was Brazil's 7-1 semi-final defeat to Germany. The diminutive wide man now plays for Everton, who he joined on a free transfer in 2018. Interestingly, Brazil's second youngest player at the 2014 World Cup was Neymar, who had already won 49 caps for Brazil at the age of 22, which is ridiculous. Cameroon Fabri Salinga the youngest player at the 2014 World Cup Finals at any team, Fabrice Alinka, turned 18 exactly one month before the tournament began. Alinka attended the Samuel Eto'o Foundation in Cameroon, yet he could call Eto'o a teammate at the 2014 World Cup, which is a further reminder of just how young he was. The young forward was called up following a brief spell on loan at Zulvergan from Malaga, but he has been with Muscron since joining the Belgians permanently in 2015. Croatia Mateo Kovacic the Croatian squad had the nucleus of the team that were gone to reach the final of the 2018 World Cup in 2014, yet they lost two of their three group games and were sent packing in the group stages. Mateo Kovacic was the youngest player in the Croatia squad, age 20, and he was contracted to Inter Milan at the time. Kovacic subsequently signed for Real Madrid and then current club Chelsea, and the 26-year-old has already won 56 caps at international level. Mexico Diego Reyes Croatia were dumped out of the 2014 World Cup in the group stages by Mexico, who didn't lose a single group game before their inevitable defeat in the round of 16. Diego Reyes was Mexico's youngest squad member, age 21, and he was playing for Porto at that time. The centre-back, who made his international debut in 2011, has now won 65 caps for Mexico, and he has been playing his club football for Tigres in Liga MX since 2019. Australia Adam Taggart Perth native Adam Taggart has only won six caps for Australia in the six years since the 2014 World Cup, despite having an excellent scoring record at international level. Taggart has bagged six goals from 11 caps for the Socceroos in total, and he made the Australia squad following his breakout season with Newcastle Jets in 2014. The 27-year-old now plays for the Suwon Samson Blue Wings in South Korea, and he returned to international action in 2019. Chile Mikael Bonas Born in Sweden to a Chilean father and a Finnish mother, Mikael Bornos certainly had plenty of options on the international stage. Having represented Sweden at under-21 level, he accepted a call-up from Georges Sampaoli in January 2014, before making the nation's World Cup squad. Now aged 29, Albornoz joined Hanover in the summer of 2014, and he still plays for the second Bundesliga side. Netherlands Terence Congolo there was a real mix of youth and experience in the Dutch squad that Louis van Gaal took to the 2014 World Cup, and the youngest player to travel was Terence Congolo. The young defender made one appearance in the group stages, playing for Feyenoord at that time, and he now plays for Fulham on loan from fellow championship outfit Huddersfeld Town. Spain Koke Having dominated European and world football for six years, Spain came crashing down back to earth with the group stage exit in Brazil. 
Koke's only start in Brazil came in Spain's only win against Australia, and he's the first player in this video who is still with the same club as he was at the start of the 2014 World Cup. Koke is a one-club man who was born in Madrid, he has been with Atletico since the age of eight, and he's now one of Spain's most important players. Colombia Eder Alvarez Balanta Back in 2014, Eder Alvarez Balanta was being built up by many in South America as one of the best young defenders in world football. Considered to be among the best defenders in Argentina even at the age of 21, Balanta was being linked with the likes of Barcelona, but when his move to Europe came two years later, it was a rather more modest one. Balanta joined Basel in 2016, before moving on to Club Bruges in 2019, and the 27-year-old has only won eight caps of Colombia to date, failing to make their squad for the 2018 World Cup. Greece Stefanos Capino I was a little surprised when researching this video that the youngest player that a few nations took to the finals in Brazil were goalkeepers, and Greece were one of those nations. Stefanos Capino made his Greece debut aged only 17, but he was their third choice for the World Cup. Six years on, Capino still only has nine caps to his name, and he currently serves as a backup to Yuri Pavlenka for Werder Bremen in the Bundesliga. Ivory Coast Seyou Bamande the goalkeepers come thick and fast with two Group C sides youngest players being shot stoppers. Sayuba so Mande was the youngest keeper at the finals in Brazil, aged only 20, playing for Starbeck at the time. Following seven seasons with the Norwegian club, Mande departed for Danish outfit Obi Odense in 2018, where he serves as Oliver Christensen's deputy. Japan Gotoku Sakai Japan finished bottom of Group C at the 2014 World Cup, and their youngest player Gotoku Sakai didn't manage to get on the pitch. Among the oldest, youngest players for a nation at the finals, if that makes sense, Sakai was 23 at the time. The New York-born fullback was playing for Stuttgart in 2014, and he did play in every game for Japan at the 2018 World Cup, announcing his retirement from international football at the end of that tournament. Following eight years in Germany, Sakai returned to Japan in 2019, joining the likes of Andres Iniesta and Thomas Vermaelen at Vissel Kobe. Costa Rica Joel Camp there was perhaps no more impressive player in this video than Joel Campbell at the 2014 World Cup, who is arguably not just his nation's youngest, but also his nation's best player. The dynamic frontman spent seven years contracted to Arsenal, including at the time of the 2014 World Cup, and he helped Costa Rica reach the round of 16. Arsenal fans watched on with excitement at Campbell's performances, but he couldn't replicate those performance levels at the Emirates, and the 27-year-old now plays for Club Leon in Liga MX. England Luke Shaw no team had more teenagers than England at the 2014 World Cup, with Luke Shaw and Raheem Sterling, but no team won fewer games than England as well. Shaw was 18 when the finals kicked off, and he joined Manchester United for what was then a world record fee for a teenager following England's departure. Shaw still plays for the Red Devils now, but his progress was seriously hampered by a horrible double leg fracture and an equally fractured relationship with Jose Mourinho. Italy Mattia Perrin Another goalkeeper, Mattia Perrin is only the second player in this video so far who is still at the same club he was with at the time of the 2014 World Cup. Perrin made his international debut as a 19-year-old, but by the time Gianluigi Buffon left the international game behind, Perrin had been leapfrogged by an even younger model. The 27-year-old joined Juventus in 2018, but he is currently back at Genoa on loan from Italy's reigning champions. Uruguay Jose Jimenez one of, I would say, the three best players and three biggest success stories in this entire video, Jose Jimenez, is one of the most solid and consistent centre-backs in Europe. Jimenez played in all but Uruguay's opener at the 2014 World Cup, following an injury to Diego Lugano, and he has pretty much been a regular ever since. Aged 25, Jimenez has won 58 caps for Uruguay, and he still plays under Diego Simeone for Atletico Madrid. Ecuador Carlos Grusso Carlos Grusso may only have been 19 years of age, but he started Ecuador's opener at the 2014 World Cup, and he came on as a substitute for their second game. A talented holding player, Grusso was playing for Bundesliga side Stuttgart at the time, before joining FC Dallas in 2016. Following three years in the United States, Grusso received a green card in 2019, but he returned to Germany shortly after being granted permanent citizenship in a move to Augsburg. France Luca Digne France had one of the youngest squads at the 2014 World Cup, although they didn't have a single teenager. 20-year-old Barcelona fullback Luca Digne was the youngest player in Didier Deschamps' squad, and he made just one appearance against Ecuador in the group stages. 
Dina left Barcelona to join Everton in 2018, but despite having won 30 caps for Le Bleu, Dina missed out on France's 2018 World Cup winning squad. Honduras, Luis Lopez. Luis Lopez is the fourth goalkeeper in this video, and also the first and indeed the only player in this video, who was uncapped at the time of the 2014 World Cup. Age 20, the sub six foot shot stopper was yet to make his Honduras debut when he headed to the finals, although he has now been capped 25 times by the Central American nation. Lopez was playing for Real Espana in 2014, and he still is in 2020, having returned to the Honduran outfit following a brief stint with LA Galaxy in 2018. Switzerland, Granit Xhaka. Granit Xhaka had already won 26 caps for Switzerland at the age of 21 when the 2014 World Cup came about, and he started in every one of Switzerland's games at the finals. Xhaka actually played as an attacking midfielder for the Swiss at that tournament and as a central midfielder for Borussia Mönchengladbach, but he has played in a slightly deeper role with mixed results for Arsenal since 2016. Argentina, Marcus Rojo. Argentina didn't really take any young players to the 2014 World Cup with the highest average age of any team at the finals. That experience carried them through to the tournament's final, but it was the youth of Germany's Mario Goetze that stopped them from getting their hands on the trophy. Marcus Rojo was Argentina's youngest player, age 24 at the time, and he played in every game for Alejandro Sabea. The centre-back, or left-back, was playing for Sporting Club de Portugal at that time, soon to sign for Manchester United. Rojo has been contracted to the Red Devils for the last six years, although he's currently on loan with the Studiantes in Argentina. Bosnia and Herzegovina Syed Kalazinac Leveling Everton and Manchester United with two players apiece in this video, Syed Kalazinac joins Granit Xhaka to make it two current Arsenal players to feature. German-born Kalazinac was just 20 at the time of the finals, contracted to Schalke at the time, and he had the unfortunate distinction of scoring the fastest own goal in World Cup history. Now aged 26, Kalazanac joined Arsenal from Schalke on a free transfer in 2017. Iran, Ali Riza Jahanbash. The poster boy of Iranian football right now, along with Sardar Azmoun, who missed out on Iran's 2014 World Cup squad, Ali Riza Jahanbash, had just had his first season in the Eredivisie with NEC at the time. He went on to sign for AZ Alkmaar, where he became the division's top scorer, before making move to Brighton for a club record £17 million in 2018. Jahanbash has only shown glimpses of his quality in the Premier League so far, although the 26-year-old has already reached half a century of caps for a run. Nigeria, Kenneth Omaruo. One of many young players farmed out on loan by Chelsea for a number of years, Kenneth Omaruo arrived at Stamford Bridge in 2012. He spent the next seven years with the club, registering zero appearances and being sent out on loan six times. Despite a lack of foundation at club level, Omaru has still gone on to win 52 caps for Nigeria, and he left Chelsea for good in a move to Leganes in 2019. Germany, Matthias Ginter. The 2014 World Cup winners Germany had a couple of 20-year-olds in their squad, as well as a 36-year-old up front, in the form of the great Miroslav Klose. Matthias Ginter was Germany's youngest player in Brazil, six months younger than Julian Draxler, although he didn't manage to get on the pitch as Germany lifted the trophy in South America. Playing for Freiburg at the time, Ginter joined Borussia Dortmund in 2014, followed by his current club, Borussia Mönchengladbach, in 2017. Ghana, Rashid Sumaila. Quite possibly, or even quite probably, the least well-known player in this video, Rashid Sumaila, has only played three games at club level outside of Africa and Asia. Ghana had the youngest average age of any squad at the 2014 World Cup, although Sumaila was their youngest player at 21. Capped six times by Ghana at the time, Sumela has only won four caps in the six years since, and he now plays for Quadzia in Q8. Portugal, Rafa Silva. Portugal had a pretty miserable 2014 World Cup, bowing out in the group stages behind Germany and the USA, despite the squad packed full of experience. 21-year-old Rafa Silva was Paulo Bento's least experienced player, with just three caps to his name, and the Braga midfielder didn't get a game in Brazil. He has since won 19 caps for Portugal, and he has been playing his club football for Benfica since 2016. USA, Julian Green. Unlike Rafa Silva, the USMNT's youngest player Julian Green did play and did make an impression at the 2014 World Cup. The youngest player to score at the finals in Brazil and the USA's youngest World Cup goal scorer of all time, Green was just 19 at the time, and he was playing for Bayern Munich's second team. Half German and half American, Green flip-flopped between the two nations at youth level before tying himself down with the US in 2014. 
Sadly, Green hasn't progressed as many had hoped, now playing for Groyd the Firth, and he has only won 15 caps for the US MNT in total. Algeria Nabil Bentaleb Another man who represented a different nation at youth level to senior level, Nabil Bentaleb, was born in Lille, and he represented France at under-19 level. Aged 18, Bentaleb signed for Tottenham Hotspur, and in 2014, he accepted an international call-up from Algeria. The midfielder left Spurs in 2017, but following two and a half years away, he returned to the Premier League with Newcastle United in January 2020. Belgium Divock Origi Belgium had a very youthful squad at the 2014 World Cup in Brazil, which would be the first chance for the nation's golden generation to showcase their talents at a major finals. Divock Origi and Adnan Yanezai were both aged 19, Origi being two months younger than Yanezai, and the teenage striker was starring for Lille at the time. That same summer, Liverpool won the race for Origi's signature, and with his prospects at Anfield having looked dubious at times, Origi has turned his fortunes around over the last two seasons, becoming a bit of a cult hero. Russia Pavel Modjilevets Obviously correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Pavel Modjilevets is the player with the fewest caps in this video. The midfielder had just one cap going into the 2014 World Cup, and he has won only three since. At the time of the finals, Modjilevets was playing for Ruben Kazan on loan from Zenit St. Petersburg, but he headed to Kazan on a permanent basis in 2018. South Korea Son Hyung min the three best players in this video are Jose Jimenez, Koke, and Son Hyung min and some might say, we have saved the best until last, certainly those who are watching in South Korea. Son enjoys near mythical status in his homeland, and he is well on course to go down as his nation's greatest ever player. Son was just 21 at the time of the 2014 World Cup, but he had already been capped 25 times by South Korea, making him their 11th most capped player at the tournament. He had just impressed in his first season in the Bundesliga for Bayer Leverkusen at the time of the finals, and in 2015, Son joined Tottenham, where he has since gone from strength to strength. That's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Give us a like if you enjoyed it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, make sure you are subscribed to HITC 7s.